this is a huge undertaking. Whilst there's one man trying to do something, a moment in history, there's about 150 people here this weekend. So whilst we're aiming to run a sub two hour marathon, there's a huge amount that actually goes into that. Timothy and Emmanuel, you just stay, you start also behind, but you come on the line. We're working through our start process. We have two pace cars that are specifically engineered to control a speed profile very specifically, throw a laser, and ultimately guide the pacers into their drafting formation. So it's a learning process, but the best way to learn a new skill is to get some instruction, practice, gain some feedback, and do it again. Try to be close on Stanley, eh? okay. yes? We are now on the course in, uh, in Vienna and we are doing with the, the three different pacing teams. But this is important for a kind of uh, team building between the, the pacemakers because some of them have never met them be, uh, each other before. And for uh, when they are coming in October that they are comfortable, that they know what they can expect, that we get feedback and still can make uh, adjustments to see uh, where we want to make improvements, especially towards October and that in October we don't make silly mistakes and that we can make them all here this weekend. I think it's really important for us that we have a responsibility to ensure that when Elliot lines up on the start line, hopefully on the morning of the 12th of October, we've done absolutely everything we can um, and we can't afford to make any mistakes. You know, we know that Elliot's in Kenya right now preparing, doing everything that he can to make sure he's in the best possible form to come here and do this and we need to make sure that we're in the best possible form and have done everything that we can to support him to do it.